Hey Scorpio, welcome to your reading for March 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for your patience as well. Um, it's been a rough few weeks. Um, February was just rough, okay? I'm not gonna lie. February was rough. There was a lot, there are a lot of us readers out there um, that have been struggling with it or just having a difficult time of it right now. So, you know, it's not just me, <laughs> but thank you so much for your patience um, and thank you for tuning in. Yeah. So we're doing your reading for March 2019. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, go ahead and email me. All of the information is in the description box below, including my email address and the readings that I offer. If you would like to follow me on Instagram, you can do that at divine underscore conversations. And if you would like to give me a like on Facebook, you can do that at divine conversations 2711. The links for those are also in the description box. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to be doing things a little bit differently other than just recording the reading here so that you can see my pretty face. Um, <laughs> I'm going to be pulling an oracle card first to get the general theme of your energies for the month. And then I'm going to be following that up with the normal freestyle reading that I offer, um, that I always do for the zodiac signs, yes? And um, keeping it true to form, I'm using the oracle of the unicorns and the golden universal tarot, yeah? So without further ado, let's do it, y'all. Hmm. Hi Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for March 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Scorpio, so just in channeling your energies already, I'm seeing red. Some of you might be angry, but I don't think it's anger. I mean, some of you might be dealing with some anger. You might be dealing with some situations that are making you angry. But I'm feeling, or what Spirit is saying, to more it's it's more passion than anger. Um, also, red um, uh, is the color of the root chakra. So you may be working on grounding yourselves in some way. You may be working on manifestations. You may be working on work. Um, you know, you may just be working on just getting a better footing in life somehow. I hope I'm, I, I don't really know how else to say that, but it's like maybe getting your finances together specifically. I don't know. Just working on maybe working on a new you getting grounded, further grounded in some way, working with the energies of the root chakra to maybe enhance your life in some way, okay? Um, Spirit is reminding me to, uh, or is asking me to tell you guys that, or, or remind some of you that red in Chinese culture is a, is a, uh, a color of prosperity. Um, it, it represents prosperity, maybe even wealth. Um, and that's kind of the energy that I'm feeling here. For you, like I said, some of there's some of you. It could be anger, but it, it, if it is, if it is anger, it's like driving you. It's a propelling force for you to make some positive changes in your life, or it could be a, 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 a an opportunity to use that energy as to make some um, positive changes in your life. All right, Scorpio, I'm gonna give your oracle cards one more shuffle, and then we'll see what your theme for the month is. All right, here we go. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is the theme for your month? Look at that. We were just talking about money and finances and um, prosperity and wealth, and your Oracle card is abundance. Look at that, Scorpio. That's really fantastic. Um, for the most part, okay, so this card says, enjoy the bounty of life. Your, your supply is unlimited. Blessings are coming to you, okay? And what I was going to say before I started reading the, what the card says, for some of you, you really need to focus on the fact that the universe is abundant and you are the universe. So what does that mean? You are abundant, yeah? Um, you, you have what it takes to make whatever change you're trying to make in your life. 
I really feel like, Scorpio, this is an energy of just reorganizing, reshaping your life, remanifesting your life, re-sculpting your life in some way. Or if it's not a re-sculpting, it is um, focusing on how you want to shape your life, okay? All right, Scorpio, one more shuffle for you and then we'll see what the cards have for you here. Alrighty. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Boop. All right. Here we go. Overall energy. We've got justice. This is good. This is Libra energy. Uh, you might be dealing with a Libra. Uh, maybe you're a cross watcher watching for a Scorpio and you're a Libra. Who knows? It doesn't matter. But what this really says is, what this is really speaking to is bringing justice into your life. Okay, for some of you, there could be some sort of court case that you're um, that you are ex dealing with, experiencing that could potentially really be working out in your favor, some sort of legal matter. Um, but it's all in this re in this red energy that I'm feeling, which is an energy of um, prosperity or wanting to have a better physical existence, and so working towards that. That is bringing justice into your life. Okay. Ace of Wands, inspiration, a new creative direction, um, sexual energy. Maybe someone's trying to get pregnant. Well, that's beautiful, unless it's for malicious reasons. <laughs> Moving forward, uh, we have the Five of Wands, okay? And we also have the Queen of Swords, more Libra energy. So there really could be a Libra in your life. Um, you could have Libra in your chart. Um, There's some sort of chaos and confusion here, maybe some sort of differing of opinion that could be inner conflict or it could just be conflict with people around you for a decision that you are making. And instead of fighting with them or trying to appease them or trying to get them to understand why you're choosing to go in this direction or why you're choosing to take this sort of action, you're just kind of like, whatever, fuck it. I mean, I don't, uh, I don't care about your opinion. This is what I want to do. This is what I'm going to do. I mean, kudos to you, right? It's your life. Do what you want with it. Now, I have to say that, I have to say that lightly with Scorpio, don't I? Um, yes, it is your life. Yes, do what, what you want with it, but don't like hurt people in the process. I mean, again, you can do whatever you want, but you're going to get some karmic justice. So maybe try not to hurt people in the process. But also, if you're going in a direction that is more, it's better in greater alignment with you and it, it, it results in hurting someone, that's not your fault. That's not what I'm talking about here. But like purposefully um, using people or, or mowing people down, um, you know, riding roughshod over people just to get your way or get what it is you want, that's going to create some karmic backlash. So that's kind of what I'm talking about here. But that's not really what I'm feeling for you for the most part. Okay. I'm feeling like you have a new creative direction that you would like to move in. You are inspired in some way to start a new project, go and just go in a new direction. Um, and actually, this confusion that you might be feeling with the Five of Wands and the justice energy that's surrounding you right now is the process of figuring out which action you really want to take. What's going to bring the most justice into your life, okay? And absolutely, that Queen of Swords energy is going to help you make that decision. No questions asked. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. The decision is made. The decision is final. So it's not even about the, with the King of Wands, King of Swords energy, it would be a situation in which you're hearing out all sides. That's not the case here. With the Queen of Swords, it's literally about figuring out what would be the best direction for you to move in, what is going to resonate with you, what is going to serve you best, what is going to be, what is, what is not going to waste your time. Because the Queen of Swords hates wasting, having her time wasted. And then making that decision and not giving another thought to it or not even having a discussion about it. Especially if there are people around you that are not really agreeing with what you want to be moving forward with. But again, it's your life. 
And unless you have dependents, it really doesn't affect them. Or it doesn't have to affect, affect them. You know what I mean? Alrighty. So getting into the deeper spread here. Um, we're, I've been saying that this is the first half of your month and the second half of your month, but I do want to stop saying that. Instead, what I'm going to say is the first half of your reading, the second half of your reading. This could be at any moment in the month, okay? Could be the first half of your month, could be the second half of your month. I, I don't know. This is a general energy. This is a general reading. Energies are fluid. Time is an illusion, all right? So just keep that in mind. But moving forward, first half of your reading, first set of surrounding energies. You got... The Three of Pentacles, partnership. For some of you, there is a partnership here, a business partnership that's in the works or is in question, is potentially starting. Um, and yeah, this new creative direction that you might be going in or trying to decide about could have everything to do with business, entrepreneurship in some way. And this is also self-mastery, too, with the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles is coupled with... Woo! The Tower! Maybe you're making a... Um, you could be making a strong change. A strong, sudden change. Or it could be a Tower moment energy that is influencing this new idea, this new um, creative direction is in, could be influencing wanting to go in a new direction. I just don't know why, but I, when I saw this, I don't know why, when I saw this uh, tower card, the first thing I thought was Scorpio energy. So I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the tower can represent Scorpio sometimes. I mean, officially, your card is death. But tower is kind of like a death moment, isn't it? It's the death or the destruction of whatever used to be there in, re in, a, in a way to, to create something new, right? I do feel like this is your energy, Scorpio. Now, I feel like you could, in that sense, you could be creating a tower moment in the, whatever direction you choose to go in. Which also could be why you have, or might be dealing with some sort of internal conflict if that's, if that's um, resonating with you. And if it's not that, this just feels like a sudden, drastic change, okay? Second set of surrounding energies for the first half of your reading, you have the Nine of Wands, Perseverance. I feel like you've been persevering for quite some time. <clears throat> also, I'm feeling like you need to persevere some more in order to get to a point where you can, I guess, make this decision. Nine of Wands is coupled with the Chariot. Cancer energy. You could be dealing with a Cancer, a Cancerian. Um, what I'm feeling with this, with the Nine of Wands and the Chariot, <clears throat> you're needing to persevere. Or, like I said, you have been persevering in some sort of direction. Uh, and maybe this is just something for specific for some of you, but you're needing to just hold on, hold on a little longer. Because I feel like you're going in the right direction. Now, on the other hand, this could be you have been persevering or, or battling against something that has been keeping you from doing what it is you truly want to be doing or something that is a greater, <laughs> excuse me, of greater resonance to you, okay? Okay, your challenge in the first half of your reading, you have, <laughs> here you are, Scorpio, King of Cups. It could be another water sign, Cancer Pisces. But typically, or technically, the King of Cups represents the fixed archetype of the water sign, which is Scorpio, okay, which is you. The challenge here being the King of Cups, it speaks to emotional maturity, but what I'm really getting here is this, the challenge is honoring yourself. 
honoring what it is you truly want to be doing here and taking action towards that, okay? King of Cups is coupled with the High Priestess. Lots of intuitive energy. But this is getting down to the deep, dark secrets or the deep, dark, or the, the deep desires that you have in the direction that you want to move in. Not what other someone else, what someone else wants for you. What do you want? Focus on that. Get to the bottom of that if you don't really know what that is. Yeah, that's challenging. <laughs> your potential outcome or the closing message here for the first part, half of your reading, you've got four of swords. Yeah, it's time to, time, time to take some rest, to heal, to meditate, to go within, to remove yourself from this battle that you may have been fighting here with the nine of wands energy. Four of Swords is coupled with, woo, the devil. Capricorn energy could be, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, but you need to take some time to face your fears or to deal with the devil on your back, to deal with or to figure out how you want to handle some sort of attachment or codependency yeah, you need to take some time to heal and figure out how you want to handle that. Because I do feel like for some of you, maybe this, this codependency here has a lot to do with maybe this tower moment you may create for someone or for some sort of situation in choosing to go in a different direction or making a specific choice for yourself, okay? Yeah. Getting into the second half of your reading here, you first set of surrounding energies, you've got the Empress. And it's so funny because the Empress did pop out while I was doing the pre-shuffle <clears throat> for your reading. And actually, it's even funnier. I was kind of like, do I want to do, because uh, I was going to do three readings today and it looks like I'm doing it um, for the Zodiac signs. And I was like, do I, I think I want to do the Scorpio reading. I'm not quite sure. And I was just, you know, shuffling up the cards and death popped out. So I was like, I guess I'm doing the Scorpio reading. And the Empress came out too. Abundance here. And what this is saying specifically is, I mean, more abundance. Abundance was the first card, was your Oracle card. And that is what the Empress is speaking to here. Okay. There is an abundance of energy, of options. And just because you may be going in a different direction doesn't mean that the situation you may be choosing to move away from or to not continue to be involved in or to not get involved in, in to begin with, doesn't mean that they won't have their own abundance to choose from. You're not the only person that can help these, that can be a part of this, you know? The abundance is for everyone, all right? Not just for you. Uh, fertility also, which is a component of abundance, to be quite honest. The Empress is coupled with the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so someone might be wanting to get pregnant here. Yeah, I did pick up on that, didn't I? Someone may be getting pregnant. And if that's the case, and you do actually want to be getting pregnant, want to have a baby, want to have a child, congratulations. Congratulations. Second set of surrounding energies here for you. We have, in your second half of the reading, we have the Ace of Swords. So I do feel like you're going to be communicating some truth. It might be, maybe it's towards the end of the month. Maybe it's a little earlier and whatever. This could be at any moment, but I do feel like you're going to be communicating some sort of truth. I feel like this is that decision that you're maybe bouncing in your head, bouncing back around, trying to focus on. This also, if it's, I mean, the, the, it could be just like the judgment, the settlement, potentially, okay? Ace of Swords is coupled with, wow, the Emperor. Ooh, you've got the Emperor and the Empress right next to each other, one after another. Uh, you look, this is an energy of making a decisive, uh, uh, oh no, first of all, the Emperor represents Aries. The Empress can represent Taurus um, and Aries actually sometimes, but... <clears throat> So maybe that's it, whatever. The zodiac sign really doesn't matter here. We're talking about 
the energies for you, Scorpio. And I feel like this is really an energy of making a decision, <clears throat> taking decisive action, taking control of your domain and saying, this is what I want to do. This is what I'm going to do. Yep. Absolutely. Okay. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, you have the woo five of swords, but someone's not happy about it. Someone really is not happy about it. You're going to have to deal with backlash, I guess. And I, I, I don't like to say that you're going to have to deal with backlash because you really don't have to deal with anything. So instead of me saying it that way, look out. Because whatever decision you make may make someone feel resentful. Now, also, on the other hand, because this is a general reading, Scorpio, maybe someone else is making a decision that you don't like and then that ultimately makes you resentful. Okay? I mean, look out with, for that. Five of Swords is coupled with the Four of Pentacles. They don't want this situation to change. They absolutely do not want this situation to change. But whoever is making the decision here is absolutely in control of their lives and their, 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 um, their direction. And if you or this other, whoever this other person is, is resentful of that and starts to sabotage or starts to try to sabotage, starts to try to make trouble, it is only going to create negative karma. So think about it. Think, think to yourself. Before you start the drama, before you start the backlash, before you get you, you, you settle into your resentful feelings and want to sabotage whatever it is they're, they're doing, this other person is doing, do you want the karma? Do you want to deal with that karma? Now, I hear you. Some of you Scorpios are out there like, yeah, I don't give a shit. I'll deal with it. It's not like I haven't done it before. All right. It's up to you, boo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Your closing message or the potential outcome here for you, Scorpio, in the second half of your reading, you have uh, Seven of Swords. Lying, cheating, backstabbing, stealing. Resentful energies with this Five of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. Beware. Just keep your eyes out. And if this is you, Scorpio, I don't know what else to tell you. Seven of Swords is coupled with King of, oh, sorry, the Queen of Wands. Someone is all up in their ego about something. Like, I'm literally feeling an energy of, you're not going to treat me like this. Do you know who I am? Self-importance type situation. <laughs> that's icky now this doesn't have to resonate with you okay this is a general reading but just keep an eye open for some deceit betrayal backstabbing all right so there you have it scorpio Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Again, if you would like a look into your own personal situation, go ahead and email me at divineconversations2711 at gmail.com. All of the information is in the description box below, including the readings that I offer. I love you guys so much, and I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of April. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.